It is perhaps the best home field advantage in all of football and certainly the loudest as we welcome you inside Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. Coming up, a rematch of Super Bowl 54 as it'll be the San Francisco 49ers taking on the defending Super Bowl champions, the Kansas City Chiefs. As San Francisco's offense returns to the field. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. Boy, shifts past him. A second fake. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. Big article in the paper this morning talking about how they wanted to get chunk plays in the run game. Well, early on, there's a good one. There is, and for guys on defense, they've got to remember the old adage. You've got to meet force with force. And if you don't, you get run over, as they did on that last play. Not first down, Purdy. That's to the sideline and incomplete. No sense risking anything there on first down. Even though he's still in the pocket, he had a receiver out to his side, so just put that in a spot where the only people who can make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Purdy now to throw. Throw left side, McCaffrey's got it. Oh, that's just not fair, and now room to run. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 13 yards there and a Niner first. Well, I like the play design there. They occupied the defense downfield, everyone trying to account for someone. But unfortunately, they didn't account for the running back slipping out of the backfield, and he was absolutely unnoticed and wound up getting big yards on that play. Another grab here for the dynamic Christian McCaffrey. So the completion gets him just a yard, and that will bring up second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. On second down, McCaffrey. And he'll take this close to a first down at the Chiefs' 38. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he works free. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. He'll get a dozen there, and it's a first down, 49ers. A couple of nice carries back-to-back -back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these are bare-bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yards you're looking for, right? Let's go ahead and use a cliche. Stay ahead of the change, right? Five, more, five or more yards each time, that's what you're looking for in setting a tone and getting your offensive line going. Good sign on the opening drive. A really an excellent run. Sidestepping tacklers on his way to a pickup of eight. The impressive opening drive continues and just space being created by those guys up front. We're seeing this the same way, aren't we? We are seeing an offensive line as this game gets started, as it starts to unfold, that they are dominating the line of scrimmage. McCaffrey running up the middle. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. What an advantage having a lead guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. This will be play number nine coming up on this relatively long opening drive as they look to convert on third down. Again, they run again. It's McCaffrey. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. They're able to convert with a gain of four. If you make the stop there, maybe you hold them to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. Yeah, new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they decide to do here because they've got to change up what they have been doing. It hasn't been working. That's caught by Ayuk on the slam. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. 
They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Second down, ball on the three. First down marker at the one-yard line. Up the gut, McCaffrey. And across the chalk, into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. Christian McCaffrey taking it in from four yards out. And the Niners are on the board first here on the road in Kansas City. Jake Moody now for the point after. And the 49ers grab a 7 to nothing lead. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. This taken in right around the goal line. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. And now here comes Kansas City. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10, right at the 30. Here's Pacheco to begin the drive. And he has met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Javon Hargrave there on the stop. Brandon, one thing about blitzes, they really confuse offensive linemen at times. And what you have to do is lock in on the guy right in front of you. If you don't, you saw the end result. Defensive tackle end up making the play. Mahomes now to throw. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. And he will have a Chiefs first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. And already down seven to nothing after the touchdown a minute ago. So a three and out here would not be ideal for them. Nice job finding his receiver there. And they get the first down. This will be caught by Brown. Zero hesitation that time. That was get ball, throw ball. Yeah, turn into a smoke route. If you see the coverage off the receiver, doesn't matter whether you call it a run or not. Just take the ball, get it out to him. From just shy of midfield, here's a second down and four. Now here's a fake on the jet sweep as they go instead with Pacheco. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Here's third and three. They go play action. Now Mahomes. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. Eight yards there on a first down. Well, they clearly wanted to come out, Charles, and be aggressive throwing the football, and they've been pretty efficient along with that aggressiveness. He's now 4-4 four four on this opening drive. Yeah, and that's led to a fresh set of downs. I like what he's doing back there. You can tell he's at ease. Feels good about what he's doing. Now Brown, oh, he lost the football. And now this is scooped up by the 
Rodgers. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. Following the fumble recovery, Purdy. That's over the middle and caught by Ayuk. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Now, they may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Well, as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your offense find their rhythm early, and that's exactly what we've seen so far. They had a touchdown on their opening drive, and now they connect here for another nice game for a first down. This offense is moving the ball well, exactly as he drew it up in practice. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Another run with McCaffrey on second down. And he'll take this close to a first down at the Chiefs' 40-yard line. 54 yards rushing for him now as he has gotten the night off to a hot start. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. Call it a gain of a yard, and that's going to make it fourth down. Well, it wasn't a big strike, but that completion put them in really great range. What do we have now, fourth and inches? Yeah, it's not more than a half a foot. You know what I would do here? You would always go for it. <laughs> I'm one of those guys. And this one is no good. He missed it. And this will remain a one-touchdown game. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. Right now, they're on the wrong end of the scoreboard, and that won't change if this drive ends like the last one when they had that lost fumble. So you have a feeling taking care of the football is certainly paramount right now. Yeah, and it's not just the guy who dropped it on the last drive, is it? That means everyone who might touch the ball is getting the same message. Guys, ball security, paramount. Let's take care of it, and if we do, we've got a chance to put points on the board. So the completion good for seven there, and that'll make it second down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Second quarter for Merrillhead. It's the Chiefs in possession as they've got it with a second and three forthcoming. To throw, it's Mahomes. Over the middle, it's complete. First time that they called his number tonight, and it gets him a first down. The start for them near flawless. Defense gets him a three and out. Two quick pass connections on offense. So that's how a team works together. Just what you described. Get them the ball, give them a little momentum, and they're capitalizing off of that. Thanks a lot, guys. On first and ten, here's Pacheco. Down to the 42, second down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Here's Mahomes to throw. Throw left side, completion to race. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 29-yard line. Give him 13 yards there and a Kansas City first down. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender. And that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. On play action, it's Mahomes. He'll buy some time right. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid gain to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. The tight end Kelsey has it over the middle. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. 
Mark that as a gain of 16 to set him up first and goal. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. Now here's Mahomes. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Down near the goal line, things really get physical. You're always anticipating a running play, but when they do throw it, things happen quickly. A little bit of a bang-bang play there that falls incomplete. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. They run it with Pacheco from the gun. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop. Ball right around the five here brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick, throwing it, running it, it won't be easy. Here's Mahomes, third and goal. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Rasheed Rice, a five-yard touchdown. And the Chiefs are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Well, on that connection, it looked like they maybe had some pre-play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open to the defense to get the pass to. When you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just noticed right there because the best quarterback receiver combos in the NFL, they know how to make those adjustments at the line of scrimmage when they see something pre-play, and they got it done there. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. And San Francisco gets set to go here. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this a time? Closer. Yeah, they, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. On second down, here's Mitchell. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. They'll get a dozen there, and it's a first down 49ers. Pardon, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get them. Showed that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for them. Show them that you're supposed to get the football. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. The throwing here, Purdy. Man open, that's Debo Samuel. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big-time run. Big time pass. A little one-two combination. Looked pretty good. How about that? Let's see, if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. On first down, this is McCaffrey. 60 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. From the 35, back to work on second and four. They stay on the ground, McCaffrey again, and he gets it down to the 32. Four yards the pick up, first down. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy, 
let him pick up the first down. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Purdy. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Here's second and ten. A give running left. It's McCaffrey. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. That good for 19 at a first down. This has been a good drive so far. And it's been a running game for the most part that's powered them down there. Another nice burst there, picking up a first down. Now it's first and 10, as you said, in the red zone. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Shotgun handoff down to McCaffrey. Gets past one man. Showed off the toughness, but still corralled shy of the five at the six. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball, but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. They missed a field goal on their last drive. Here they need something to even get into field goal range on third down. Purdy will set up to throw it here. That's to the pylon complete. The frustration evident there because he couldn't find anyone on third down and he left no doubt that he was throwing that one away. So Purdy off and Moody on for the 49er field goal. From the left hash, he'll have to cut this at a tight angle. And his kick is good. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. So after the made field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. Taking it about the one. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Out now the Chiefs offensive unit ready to do battle again. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before they always told his runners, Run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. Mahomes throw complete here to his receiver Brown. And he will get enough for a first down, and that will lead us to the two-minute warning. Mahomes now on first down. This will be caught once again by Brown. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it'll be second down. 
Simple drag route here, lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. Now Mahomes. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice, or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. Mahomes to throw once more. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That was simply snap, rock, and fire. I mean, they didn't take long at all. Slant route, and I loved where he put it. He put on the body of the receiver low so that only he can catch it. Yeah, I don't think there was any magical formula there. Defensively, that's just tough to defend. Very much so. And that way, it allows the receiver to keep his body in front of the defender and not allowed to go through and knock the ball away. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. And he's turning in a nice performance. Remember, he had the touchdown earlier, and this time he's able to beat double coverage to grab it. I think that if he weren't worried about a taunting penalty, he'd run by the opposing team's bench and say, guys, two's not going to be enough. You better get some more guys trying to cover me. He knows how to get open downfield. Looking for his running back, and he's got it. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. From the 23, this is second and three. And again, it's Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. They'll set up the screen to Pacheco. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. So not quite a first and goal just yet as they come up now second and inches. Now it's Mahomes again. Touchdown! Mahomes hitting his favorite target, Travis Kelsey, on a touchdown pass. And the Chiefs will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. So that really an almost perfect drive as they chew up some clock and wind up scoring late in this first half. And remember, they've got a chance to double dip here because they're going to get the ball first to start the third quarter. So the potential could go up two scores before the other guys get a chance to do anything. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. And the Niners ready to go on offense for the final time of this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. 
And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And an anxious moment or two there, but they do get him down. And the 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. That's complete out left to Ayuk. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Now a second and six. Here's Purdy. Connects with Kittle underneath. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that'll bring us to a third and four. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. He's going to loft one deep over the middle. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So we reach halftime here in a four-point game. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, ready for the start of the third quarter. The Chiefs have the lead and set to receive the football. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Hey, Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it, but I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities, and I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. Throwing quickly, that's caught by Brown out wide. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing is Mahomes on third. He's going to float this one deep right side. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. And Patrick Mahomes, for all of his artistry and arm angles and what he can do in the short passing game, never forget he's got a cannon as well. He unleashes a big one there, but that time it winds up incomplete. Here's the Chiefs punter now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. Pulled in at the 24. It's a 45-yard punt, six yards on the return. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, okay, the first half was theirs, but now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for this second half. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Ball on the 35. Here comes second and five. Purdy looking to throw. That's caught by Ayuk on the slant. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. With a quick slant, good for eight and a first. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Play action, and now here's Purdy to throw it. And that one into the hands of Ayuk downfield. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That one goes for 30 yards. 
Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line, and we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop, and that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. This one caught by Kittle. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. 23 yards on the play. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago. Followed it up with another nice one here. And before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. Once more, Purdy looking to throw. And it's complete in the end zone. Touchdown, 49ers from four yards out. And the 49ers have retaken a third quarter lead. So a very strong first drive in the second half, Charles, as they've turned that halftime deficit into a third quarter lead. And they were pretty purposeful there, weren't they? Measured in their approach. But boy, they executed awfully well moving the ball down the field. Moody good with the extra point. And it's now 17-14. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Now this Chiefs offense gets set to go again. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 22. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Man open left side is Brown. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it's second down. From the gun, it's Mahomes. That'll be caught by Rice. Through the middle of the field. And finally wrestled down at the eight-yard line. A big play there on the catch and run. 65 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. Quick hitter here, it's complete. He'll get only two there, and it's second and goal. Now here's Mahomes. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he is out of bounds here. The catch good for six yards, but now it's third and goal. All that practice time came to fruition on that play. All those timing routes that they work on through training camp, OTAs, mini camp, and just regular season. They got it done on that one. An out cut. Hello. Ball was delivered and picked up the completion. Pacheco. We'll take this one in. It's a Chiefs touchdown. Well, they move the ball down the field through the air, Charles, and then finally they get the running game involved, and it works to perfection. Touchdown. And, partner, I kept waiting for that running game to come into play and actually saved it until the very end. Touchdown goes on his stat sheet, but you and I both know, and he knows as well, his teammates airing it out made this a successful drive. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that will make this a four-point game.
Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Out on the field now, here come the 49ers. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Now that's the way you want to start a drive. Talk about a tone setter as well as a playbook opener. Now if you want to take a big shot over the top, you're all positioned to do so. Here's a second and two now from the 33. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 114 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Play action. Now Purdy. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Willis. Yeah, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? Uh, they lulled them to sleep there, so to speak. That was all set up by the running game, wasn't it? Another example of what all offensive coordinators tell us. When the running game's operating, it really opens up the playbook. And that's when they hit them with the play action. And you can see the defenders rushing towards the line of scrimmage, then scrambling back trying to cover. Couldn't get there in time. Well scripted. They had the big running play. Now the big passing play. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Purdy. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 15-yard line. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Purdy will set up to throw it here. Now he's got it. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. That's a 12-yard gain now on back-to-back -back plays. Just picking up yardage in bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Mitchell. Is in. Touchdown, 49ers. Just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in, have to report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. Moody good with the extra point, And that gives him a three-point lead. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. This taken in right around the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. KC's offense ready to take over. 
A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And, partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. At this point in the second half, one mistake on a forced throw could doom your chances of a comeback. So that's the right call there to just throw that one away. A run by Pacheco on second down. And he'll get this up over the 25 to the 26. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. Throwing now is Mahomes. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have the Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But you can absolutely feel the thought process there. They just gave up the touchdown. So in the huddle, they're telling each other, you don't want to give it back now on a three and out. Nice job of making sure that they wouldn't, and they pick up the first down. On first down, Mahomes. And his throw here is incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. A good action to this point in the third quarter. Just a three-point game. Second and ten. On play action, it's Mahomes. Looking left side, and it's complete. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 42. A first down there on a pickup of 25. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes... Teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive. But a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. A third quarter action from Kansas City. Second down and ten. Mahomes going to throw. And that one caught by Rice. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Ah, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Those are the ones you dream of as defenders. I think if he gets eyes on the ball a little bit earlier, he might come away with it. Instead, it's going to wind up as just an incomplete pass. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And he has got it. From 55 yards away, that was never in down. And that will tie us at 24-all. So give him three on that drive. You know, normally you'd say, we'll take it. But the way points have been flying around, it feels like a little bit of a letdown. Yeah, you just have to wonder, are field goals going to be enough? Because as you pointed out, the way touchdowns have been scored, does kicking a field goal actually put you at a disadvantage the rest of the way? Nothing separating these two sides. 24 all our score as he sends this one away. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. The Niners set to take over on offense.
Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line, first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Gets this one to use check. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. So both offenses come to life here in this third quarter as this is shaping up for a good finish. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. This is McCaffrey on the give, and he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. 120 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run, got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he let him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. Now a second and ten. Purdy now to throw. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. Well, we all know possessions are crucial in a tie game. And let's face it, I really didn't need to tell you that. You already knew it. So when he sees he's got nothing good going, an excellent decision to just send that one to the sideline. Here's Purdy now on third and goal. And he's taken down, a chief sack. Chris Jones drops him for a loss of 12, and it also brings up fourth down. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. Wisnowski on to punt as he sends this one away. Let's take it inside his own 40. It'll be a 40-yard punt, eight on the return, and it's Chiefs football, first and 10. And Kansas City's offense now set and ready to go. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity, all tied in the fourth quarter. The Chiefs in good position to start out as they come up first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. Meanwhile, Mahomes throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. So the completion good for six yards, and that'll bring up second down. now to throw. A quick throw there is incomplete. Well, that's a defensive coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. If they get nothing else here on third down, it'd be a 53-yard attempt from this spot. Mahomes to throw once more. That is caught. And he will have the Chiefs first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. And down inside the 15 he goes. The 
catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars, and he came through with a nice catch right there. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Now a toss left for Pacheco. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. This has been an up-and-down, back-and-forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive could take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. Now second and nine. Now Mahomes. Did he get the feet down? Yes! Touchdown! Travis Kelsey, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Chiefs have broken this deadlock and have taken the lead here in the fourth. Butker on for the PAT. And they will take a seven-point lead now. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The 49ers ready to set up shop again offensively. And now after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line, first and 10 at their own 22. They'll bring a tight end in motion right. They'll start with a run by Mitchell. That's about as exciting of a one-yard run as you're going to see. Finding a way to dodge that first would-be tackler, but again, just one yard out of it. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. From the 23, here's second and nine. Purdy looking to throw. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Well, that plays a statistic that's going to go on the defensive team stat sheet. Won't necessarily reflect in hours, right? The overall game sheet. But you and I know that they keep count on pressures, hits on quarterbacks, all those things, hoping to increase that throughout the game. And here we are in the fourth quarter, and they got a big one. Yeah, it's such a close game, a very big one. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. And this defense definitely in his head there on third down, and he's pretty fortunate. They didn't call for grounding on this one. That's a good 10 feet over everyone's head. Here comes the 49ers punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. Fair catch called for and made at about the 32-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return, and out will come the offense as they take over. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen on a scramble, but still some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. Ball on the 40 now. Here's second and three. 
They fake the give. Now Mahomes. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. And Kelsey's going to have a Chiefs first down as he'll be brought down just shy of midfield. Nine yards that time. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. He finds his man complete. That's Rice. So nothing doing there, and that's going to bring up second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. An 11-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. But they didn't accomplish their goal. They didn't get a stop there, gave up another first down. They have all three timeouts in their pocket. I think defensively, you've got to start thinking about using them here. I was just going to ask you at what point you think now's the go time? I think now's the go time. I don't think you sit back and wait because they can take a lot of time off the clock between plays and run three to four and really put you in a stressful spot. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it's second down. And we've seen him have success earlier on with the ball in his hands because he is a get it in space and make a play kind of a receiver. But that time, they closed on him quickly and held him to a short game. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. They'll run out of the gun with Pacheco. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Headed straight, it's Pacheco. And able to fight forward inside the 15 to the 13. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. Hands it off out of the gun. And he will have a Chiefs first down. And that's the one that should seal the victory. take a knee another yard would probably put this thing in the books it's second and one here's Pacheco and yeah, he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. And this is where the mental part of the game comes into play. Defense is out of timeouts. Just hold on to the football. No sense really trying to score. They should be able to run this one out.
Mahomes down to a knee, and that should just about write a finish to this one. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. So his second field goal of the game, and that could turn out to be the big one. Yeah, you have to make them score twice to beat you, and that's not impossible. But here in the fourth quarter, puts their backs clearly against the wall. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away.